This is the S&P 500 one day reading for February 10th, 2023. It's currently January 5th, 2023, 11, 28 p.m. Eastern time. The overall theme and behavior for the uh, for the 10th, we have a nullified worried card. Uh, we move, we decline from a support level on a one day scale down to a, another support level and then we rotate sideways along that support, but it's nullified, meaning that there's some sort of behavior that counteracts that behavior, like it makes it irrelevant somehow, or it doesn't take place. Um, and we have a nullified, this is pretty interesting, we have three nullified co in, uh, correlators, but there's a trade, uh, uh, there's there's a nullified victory card. Uh, so we likely have a breakout that doesn't hold. Behavior around the highest side, there's sideways rotation that ends with a fast sudden move higher. That fast sudden move higher takes us to the highest high, but it looks like we probably um, don't stay there for very long. Behavior around the lowest low, out of a decline, there's a fast sudden move higher. Um, there may be something uh, involving a male ruler of nations here too that creates a big move. Um, first thing in the morning, it's, it's possible. But in any case, we have the establishment of, of uh, uh, support in the pre-market. Uh, price swings that are most likely bullish. Price swings there uh, around the open and we establish a solid foundation of support in that first half. No, I don't think that's what it is. There's, there is a solid foundation there. Okay, we create a solid foundation in the first half hour and there's a big move to the upside. That may be where we have the breakout. Um, it doesn't hold. Uh, we have a decline um, between roughly 11 and 12 or after that fast sudden move higher. Um, there's a decline um, to and through a support to meet another support. We bounce along sideways between that support and the nearest resistance back and forth for a bit. And then we break down through multiple supports. Um, there's a key technical price level that's highlighted. It looks like a crest of some kind around 11-ish. Um, and a key technical price level that's important on more than just the scale of a one-day chart. Uh, at which point we poke through it momentarily. And at which point there's a trade opportunity to open up some protection. Sideways S formation within a channel there midday. Um, we may have some sort of an agreement between two leaders that's highlighted um, around that time. And there's a sideways S, so we decline from a resistance to support, back to the resistance, back to the support, creating a sideways S. Excuse me. And then there's a new local crest, not necessarily a high for the day or anything, but there is a at least a crest here between one and two, followed by multiple headwinds coming out, pushing us into a decline. Um, it looks like between roughly two and three. After that local crest in the early afternoon, there's a notable decline due to multiple headwinds, um, taking us to from an over. It looks like we we were like close to over or overbought, and we sell into this um, from a crest into a trough. Uh, trough taking place between 2 and 3, probably around 2.30ish. And then there's three pokes through a resistance level in the last hour, followed by a sharp drop off of the third poke. Uh, key, a, a notable reversal around the close um, that will stand out on a one-day chart at least. Notable reversal. Looks like um, a, out of a decline into a rally around the open or around the close, we meet a key resistance level there at the Ace of Swords. Um, there's some some fluctuation.
Yeah, and it looks like we meet this res this key resistance level in the post market, and then from there, there's more decline. Um, we do open lower in the in the pre market um, the following trading day, but um, it looks like we move higher out of out of that op that lower open so in the pre market. We move higher. Um, and don't uh, don't forget, guys. The tenth is most probable location of the highest high for the month, based on the one month overview and these correlations. These are cross congruency correlations. They're super super strong, um, uh, not to be like missed, my friends. In any case, that's the S and P five hundred for February tenth, two thousand and twenty three. Don't forget to hit that like button. Please subscribe if you haven't done so. If you have, please share this with somebody you think it'll help. Most importantly, my friends, when you make money from this reading, make sure you go to that uh, website, tarotfortraders.com, and you click on the resource tabs and fulfill that rule of karma that's innate within the, it, using the information on this channel. Right? When you profit from this information, every time, not putting it off, but every time, it doesn't matter if it's a dollar or $100,000, you take 5%, send it back to us here at the PayPal. We're very appreciative to all of you that are, are doing this. We see more and more of you actually doing this, and I'm sure you're seeing just how the profits are rolling in for you. Um, you know, like attracts like. The more you give, the more you get, my friends. It's it's just the way the world works on a metaphysical level. Um, so cash app or PayPal, and don't forget, guys, 5% forward to a charity or to somebody on the street, um, somebody who needs it. Make sure that 90% of the profits left over, you spend that out of love, the universe will send it back to you tenfold in all directions, as it has been, my friends. I'll see you guys on the next one.